Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Lightbox up and running. So this is a really simple uh, web page right here. So if you take a look, I've got my styles tucked away over here. And if I run this guy up, as you can see, pretty simple. I've just got four images. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Lightbox on it. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Lightbox, so up here at the Lockish, lockishdakar.com, and I'm going to download this guy. So we'll save as, and we'll save on the desktop so I can find it. Okay, it's almost down. We open the folder up here, right click, and let's extract all. Okay, so you've got to remember to extract the stuff. Makes it easy to get all the files that you're after. Okay, so now if you take a look inside this particular Lightbox folder, which we've extracted, we have a CSS folder, an image folder, and a JS folder. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to grab the image and the JS to start off with. So I'm just going to right click copy those, go into here, right click and paste. Okay. The reason I grabbed the images is because it's going to contain all the little uh, images needed for navigation and so forth. And this contains all the JavaScript information that we're after as well. Next thing to grab is, if I jump into the CSS file here, the lightbox and the screen.cs. So I'm just going to copy these guys, come over here and paste them into play here. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab hold of this index page here and I'm going to drag it into Expression Web. So see how that cursor has now changed to a plus when I'm on the light, light grey bar. If I drop it there, it opens up the page for me. Okay, so from here, this is where I get to take the files that I want. So I'm going to steal these two bits of code. Okay, so this is my style sheet, screen.css and lightbox. And I'm going to paste them above my current style sheets like that. Then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm after these two lines of JavaScript code. I don't want the Google code at all. So I right click and I'll copy them and we'll go back to the default page just above the body I'll just paste them there okay so the next thing what I'm going to do is in lightbox I've got two methods I can bring stuff in as a single image which you can see from here or I can bring it in as a four image set now let me just go back to the lightbox page here if I scroll down these are our individual images okay so if I click on that it pops open, but I get no navigation on this side. Okay, and now if I click down here on the four image set, once it's loaded up, you'll see that I now get a little arrow here to go to the next image. So if I click on that, it then goes to the next one, and I get another arrow to go backwards. So that's what we want to do. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take this bit of code right here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it just above my first image. Okay, so let's have a look. I've got an a href, I mean an a href to the other image. Well, I don't want to click on that and go to that one. So let's take this bit of code. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that on top of this guy here. And then I actually want to load up this one here. Okay. So it's the same image. One's, normally you would make a, uh, a thumbnail and then a big one. I'm just working with a small one. So from there, let's just have a quick look. So if I run this guy up now, I'm going to allow the blocked content. Notice how the image looks a little different. I run my mouse over it. I've got the blue barrier popping up. If I click on it, that pops up. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue doing the exact same thing for the other guys. So I've got two, three, and four. So this guy is Autobot two, Autobot two. Remember when you do this to make sure of the pathing here, you don't want to stuff that one up by any mistake because otherwise it's just not going to work. Um, so on this guy here, image source. This is now my Decepticon image, so I'll paste over that. And I'll paste over that. 
then I'll grab my last image which goes on the last A line um, doo -doo -doo. there, just become one so let's put him here I have a feeling I've put one in the wrong spot so let's just split this up again, A here that's the end of that A there, I'll put a line in between what about one? Set data title image. Right, so I didn't change this guy here. So this guy here is my second Decepticon. Oops, I forgot to grab the images section. Let's just go back and grab that again. So copy that. Paste that there, and we'll paste over this one here, like that. And we'll fix up this slight auto bot mistake to there. So now each of these guys are all linked together, okay, so they're linked together by this example set. So if you want to make different groups, you can. Um, what I'll do now is we'll just hide these guys through a comment. Okay, so comments are really useful. And now if I run this guy up, allow the block content, should be able to click here, and then I can go one, two, three, and four. And it'll also take me backwards. Excellent, so there we go, Lightbox for 2014.